Hello everyone and today we're focusing on Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics topic of number subtopic limits of accuracy. So what is limits of accuracy? Well just think about it as the before of rounding. So basically if we have um, 17.5 all of you know that that rounds up to 18 if I wanted that correct to the nearest whole number right. At the same time, if I ask you what round downs to 18, you all will tell me anything that goes 18.4999 will round down to um, 18, right? So what are these two limits? Basically, the limit of what is the smallest value that could round up to 18 and the highest value that could round down to 18 is called limits of accuracy, okay? And coming to an example, so for example, we have 105 centimeters, which has been rounded to the nearest centimeter. And we want to find out the smallest and the largest length of this table. That is, we want to find out what could have been this value before it was rounded. Now, if you look at the possibilities, it could have been 104.5 right because this would have rounded up to 105 centimeters to the nearest centimeter or it can be something as big as 105.49999 which we could have rounded down to get 105 centimeters but since it's very difficult to specify 499999 for ease of answering these type of questions we only take it as 105.5 okay so do not get confused that actually although 105.5 should round to the next number 106 when it comes to taking for the limit of accuracy we take the boundary in a way because it's easier to answer right so um, if we had taken 105.499999 how many nines are we going to put it's never ending right it's difficult to specify so that's the reason we take it this way and um, looking at something like this so when you want to find the upper bound of a basically a calculation like this where each number has been rounded to the nearest centimeter um, what do we have to do well first looking at the numerator if I want the biggest value possible out of this calculation then I need the biggest numerator possible for this fraction. Okay, that is understandable because you want the biggest possible answer. So the biggest possible answer you can get if you get if you have the biggest possible numerator for this fraction. So if I want the biggest possible numerator here, then I have to make 14 as big as possible and 73 as big as possible, which means I'm going to take the upper limit of accuracy for both 14 and 73 so that is I'm going to take it as 14.5 and 73.5 um, because these two have been rounded to the nearest centimeter okay similarly if I want to divide by 20 now imagine you have 1 divided by 2 okay that value is 0 0.5 but 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25. So what happens when the denominator gets bigger? The answer becomes smaller. So ideally, we want the smallest denominator possible to make sure that the entire fraction as a whole is as big as possible. So because of that, I'm not going to take 20.5 for the new denominator. I'm taking 19.5. And substituting this into the calculator gives me 54.7, which is the upper bound of this calculation. All right, so we're going to finish off with a few questions. So a box of oranges weighs 25 kilograms, correct to the nearest kilogram. Calculate the upper bound of the weight of 10 of these boxes of oranges. So the first thing we need to do here is 25 kilograms is the weight of one box right and we want the upper bound so that is we want to take it as not 25 we're going to take it as 25.5 kilograms because we're looking at the nearest kilogram we want to go up right so 25.5 kilograms is the upper bound for one box 
then when we multiply by 10 to get the upper bound for 10 boxes this is going to come down to 255 kilograms moving on calculate the upper and the lower bound for 7.8 to 1 decimal places and 9.3 to 2 significant figures so firstly 7.8 to 1 dp so if i want to round to 7.8 as one decimal place answer then the lower bound should be 7.75 because this 5 will round up and get me the 8 at the same time the upper bound should be 7.85 then only it will round the other way and come to um, 7.8 right so anything lower than 7.85 should round down to come to 7.8 and 9.3 if you look at it well again if you are looking at two significant figures then this has to be 9.25 to round up and 9.35 to round down and you can see that the solution therefore is option number two okay and finally the last one the speed of a car is 60 miles per hour correct to the rear uh, nearest 10 miles per hour okay write down the lowest possible speed of the car so this is about 10 miles per hour so that means when i'm rounding to the nearest 10 the smallest it could have been is 55 and the highest it could have been is 65 now we're looking at the lowest here so the answer is 55 miles per hour and that brings us to the end of today's short lesson on limits of accuracy <laughs>